This video will explain the easiest way that you can append your new shelter locations into your existing ArcGIS Online feature layer. I do want to preface and say that if your data already has XY coordinates or is already a shapefile or a file geodatabase, you can actually skip a lot of these beginning steps and I'll let you know where you can come in. However, like the shelters from the March 2021 winter storm, I do not have XY coordinates so I will have to start from the beginning. To begin, you'd go to ArcGIS Online, click Add Item, and from your computer, and then select your file, in this case a XLS form. Put in the title if it doesn't already put one in for you, and put in a tag or two. Keep the Publish This File as a hosted layer checked, and click Addresses or Places. From here, try to match up as many uh, location fields to field names as you can. And don't worry, you don't have to get every single one matching. All you really need to geocode is the address, the city or town, and the state. As long as you have that information and you match up the location fields accordingly, then you should be fine. In this case, we actually have all three of that of those fields located in the site address here. So we just need to say address or place for the site address. Once you're finished matching all the location fields, you just click add item. Once it finishes geocoding, you might get a little message saying how many records had successfully geocoded and how many have not. Um, in this case, everything geocoded just fine. So we didn't get that message. If you do get that message, click yes and uh, make sure you inspect your data, make sure that the addresses are complete and uh, try again or just delete those records and add them in manually later. In this case, we had all of our records geocode no problem. So now that new, with that Excel spreadsheet is now a hosted feature layer. From here, we'll actually want to click export data and export file geodatabase. And do the same thing, it should add in a title, it really doesn't matter what the title is, add in a tag or two, and just hit export. Once the data is down, excuse me, done exporting, um, it will bring you to the file geodatabase overview tab. And from here, you'll just hit download to download it onto your local computer and it will download the zip file you can see down here. From here, you'll actually go up to the search bar or just navigate to your shelter feature layer. In this case, I'm gonna be using the Napsig Foundation Shelter Sandbox. And from here, you click Update Data and Append Data to Layer. Now this is the point where I said earlier that if you had data that already has XY coordinates or is already a shapefile geodatabase, you can actually skip right to this point and follow these exact same steps. Click choose file and click on the file we just downloaded, in this case, sheet one zip. Keep it as a zip file, uh, ArcGIS Online only accepts zip files. Click open. In this case, we use a file geodatabase, so make sure that that contents is updated and click update and continue. Then click show matching field or field matching, excuse me, and try to match as many of these up to, up to existing fields as you can. And don't worry if you can't match them all, um, you can go back and change them later if needed. Also, while you're going through matching the fields, uh, do keep in mind that sometimes you'll have a conflict of field type. So in this case, uh, bed availability is in the data, but there's probably some sort of conflict between the field types. Maybe within the data, it's a text field, but in the feature layer, it's an integer field. So you won't be able to actually add it in here. Uh, so just do your best and add in as many as you can. Once you are done here, matching up as many fields as you can, 
uh, click apply edits and it will automatically add that data into your feature layer. Once you've finished adding your data, you'll want to go into the map and make sure that that data has been added to your feature layer. So if we scroll to the NCR area, we'll actually see that there, it doesn't look like it added the data. However, because of the symbology currently in place on the feature layer sandbox here, um, it won't show up the data because it doesn't have any information. So it has nothing to symbolize off of. So if we go into the attribute table here and we open that up, we can see that the data has been added. However, there's no status, so it's not actually showing. So if I were to click on Aurora Mills Middle School, or maybe Boston Elementary, you can see that uh, the data still shows up here. It's still highlighted, but it's not actually showing anything. To change that, just double click and click open, close, whatever, and you'll see that the point shows up. If you only have a handful of points, uh, doing this way of manually changing the status is fairly straightforward and easy. However, if you're pending a lot of data like you see here, it might actually be easier for you to add the status information into the original XLS form before you go through all of these steps to download the geo database and append. That way, once you pull in the data and append it to the feature layer, you'll have all that information right there ready to go. Or you can run a field calculation uh, later on to change all this data. You can go through the Smart Editor, Batch Attribute Editor, however you want to do it. Um, there's a lot of different ways to do it. Either way, uh, now you know how to append data into an existing feature layer.